So, a couple of months before she passed away, my sister called me and told me that she wanted to bring a new dish to Christmas dinner, something called cornbread salad. When we were on the telephone talking, I was like, Tasha, what in the world is cornbread salad? She was like, I think you're gonna love it. It has tomatoes and give it cornbread and mayonnaise and pickle juice in it. And y'all, I was like, that don't sound good. Y'all, she kept pressing the issue and she said that she was going to bring it and she guaranteed that we would love it. Much to my surprise, it was pretty darn good. I was well into my third helping before I looked up and saw my sister glancing over me with one of her most humble looks. Mm -hmm. And I knew right then and there she was gonna rub my face in it. So today, I am gonna show you how to make that cornbread salad. All right, y'all, let's go over these ingredients. So you're gonna need you some bacon. You're gonna need you some shredded cheese. I got cheddar and Kobe. You're gonna need you some diced maters. I like saying maters, cause that's how my daddy say it. And some green onion chopped up, okay? We're gonna show you how to make that uh, mayo dressing, all right? But you're gonna need you some mayo, all right? And you're gonna need you some butter and bread chips juice, okay? Get the butter and bread. Don't get the dill pickle because it ain't gonna taste right. Get the right kind now. And I always add my special touch, which is some dry ranch seasoning because ranch makes everything better. All right, so here we go. You're gonna add you some mayo. Don't ask me how much to put in there because real cooks, well, hold up, hold up, hold up. Look at my hands, look at my hands. Look at my nail beds, they're clean. People with long nails, we like to cook and they got all that black stuff up, but I want you to know that my hands are clean. I washed my hands, so we good. All right, back to the mayo. Don't ask me how much because real cooks don't measure, but you're just gonna add you in some mayo. I prepared this for my church family, so I had to make a lot of mayo dressing, but you're just gonna add the mayo in there, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that pickle juice and you're going to pour that pickle juice in on your mayonnaise, all right? So you just pour it. You want it to be a consistency where you can pour it over, all right? You see how I got that right there? And then you're just going to stir it. You're going to take it and you're going to stir it. So just stir, all right? So stir, stir, stir. All right, let me adjust the camera so you can see. I'm stirring. So here we go. We're going to add my addition, which is the ranch powder. Oh, y'all, that's a blessing from the Lord. Okay, so you add the ranch powder, all right? This is hot. Let me show you how it looks. Show it, Bridget. Show it. Okay, there you go. And then you stir it some more because you want it to be a good consistency. Now, we, we got to taste it. Notice I got to test a spoon, okay? Because I don't have to be double dipping. You're going to test it with a different spoon, all right? It needs some more pickle juice to it, all right? Notice I got to test a spoon. So you pour some more of the pickle juice in there. There you go. Pour it on in there, Bridget, all right? And so you stir it some more. Stir, 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 stir. Wait a minute. We got to get another tester spoon, all right? We don't believe in adding DNA. If you're not my family, I can't, you know, mm -mm -mm -mm. so you take another test of spoon, and I mean do it, okay? Don't do nothing else nasty, and you test it, all right? And you see the consistency, you see how it is, and you test it, mm -hmm. okay, we got a winner. It's ready, it's ready. So that's the consistency that you want it to be so that when it's time to make the cornbread salad, you can pour it over. Now, here it is. Here's the Jiffy cornbread that you have to bake and crumble up and get it ready to do the layers right there. So the Jiffy cornbread. All right, and get yourself a pretty bowl. Not a pretty bowl, a pretty bowl. And you just start to layer it. The first layer is going to be the cornbread, okay? So you take it and you put that on the bottom. Mm-hmm. Yes. Listen. And then you pour your mayo dressing around it. Now, I'm not good at layering. I'll be the first one. I, I can't get it like a lot of these shelves and everything that the way the chefs do it. Not shelves, but chef. Chef. However you say that. And you put that in there, all right? I'm going to perfect it one day. And then in no particular order, you add the remaining ingredients. I did the green onion. You see how you sprinkle? And then there go them dice maters. You see how I put them dice maters around there? Yes, there you go. Real pretty. Real pretty. And then you turn around and you, you're going to add your bacon. Look at that. Just blessings. I can taste it right now. My mouth is watering. Mm -hmm. And then you add your cheese after you do your bacon. Why am I whispering? I don't know. Food just makes you change your voice. Add that. Yeah, add that cheese on in there. And then you just repeat. You, you repeat it and you add layer by layer. And then we're going to sit back and watch this magic happen. There you go.